The secondary method that came up was posted by Kurt or Kafonix on Twitter. Um, Kurt and uh, Anubis are probably the most prolific data miners and uh, shiny method, ex not exploits, but like they data mine the game and they actually spit out like what the game is doing or what influences the game for certain spawns and shiny spawns. Um, this is in uh, these guys in a huge way are some of the ones that probably provide us with the, the most insight into shiny hunting in the community that you could possibly find. So if you're not following them on Twitter, I definitely would recommend that you do so. Uh, Kurt posted the day before April Fool's Day. Similar to Raid RNG and Sword and Shield, we figured out a way to reverse and permute all results for massive mass outbreaks and can tell you the exact steps to obtain a shiny in alpha. Same as Raid RNG, the method can be performed by anyone. Guides and tutorials are forthcoming. Well, they posted a guide for it and I'm going to be briefly covering it. Uh, I've posted the links in both the description of this video as well as my Discord if you want to go see it, figure it out. Um, I'll briefly cover this. I'm not going to showcase this because um, I don't necessarily personally agree with using it, and I'll explain why, but I will cover how to basically do it for anyone that's interested. Um, I personally have done RNG abuse. I've uh, RNG manipulated Pokemon before. Um, this is basically that, uh, but a little bit more advanced than that. Um, it's it's that at its at its core, though. If you're not familiar with what it is, I'll briefly explain that as well. So basically, um, the the first steps are to download the the linked uh, software. That you're going to have to have some form of computer for this, and preferably a, co a computer with pretty high processing power because some of the the programs that they're using are very CPU intensive. Um, it gives you all the links that you need here, the MMO console app, the latest uh, release of Adumrep, MMO.console app. That's to uh, allow you to scan your, your massive uh, uh, mass outbreaks. And then again, though it's not required, it's recommended to have a PC with decent computing power as running the programs can be very demanding. Um, I have not downloaded, I've not used these softwares, so I can't tell you how it runs or what you need specifically, but you will may run into just be aware you may run into some uh, bottlenecks if you're running a pc that isn't up to snuff um, it may be a little bit harder or easier so you download all of those you download the latest uh, visual studio redistributable um, you get all the software that you need that's listed in this guide and then you have to start uh, basically catching the first four pokemon of the outbreaks or the massive out mass outbreaks um, four by four now it's, it's really recommended that you clear out your your pastures so that they're all in a row they're all or, all organized they're not mixed in between other spawns uh because it's going to really impact your ability to get reliable data and use this method whatsoever so you catch the first four and then using those first four pokemon you're going to use a system bot in a discord they have a discord and uh, shiny hunters anonymous discord they have a link there with plenty of bots running that you can actually queue up a trade request for. Now, when you connect to the bot, um, it will give you a code. You enter that code as a trade request, and then you show it the first four Pokemon of those outbreaks. And what it does is it will kick you back a .pa8 file. You take that file, you dump it into this folder, the mons folder on Etemrat, and it basically will kick out a code and spawn information back to you. Uh, it gives you all the steps here as far as uh, editing the spawn information and the like. It reads the RNG, it reads how the Pokemon are going to spawn in, and then it tells you a very specific path to get a shiny, provided that you have like the shiny charm or you have enough rolls as the RNG goes in the back end to encounter the shiny. So you can see, here, it gives you a code for a Kalava as far as what you have to do. It tells you exactly what you need to do to encounter the shiny. So it says the number of Pokemon one has to battle and KO at a single time. So the first one would be KO1, KO1, KO2. G values are the Pokemon needed to uh, basically... Um, it says uh, capture KO, whatever method one would like, and then leave the area. Leaving the areas defined as moving at least 120 meters away. Uh, the easiest thing to do is to fly it the furthest away from camp and then return to the outbreak. So for the first G value, the first path above, one can see it's G2. This means one would need to capture two Kalava individually, 
fight one at a time individually or fight two in a multi battle and then leave. Upon returning, one would then need to capture Polava or fight one Polava in a single battle and leave the area again. So you're basically going to KO two or catch two, fly or run 120 meters away from the outbreak, come back, capture one or battle one, do it again, run 120 meters away, and then come back. To start SB is start bonus round. This just means to finish off the remaining Pokemon to begin the bonus round if there is one. A massive outbreak, uh, a mass outbreak. So you basically just have to finish off the remaining Pokemon to get into the second round. Um, so again, it spits out the exact code of, of or path, if you will, to get the shiny and to, to get to whatever Pokemon that you're, you're trying to get. It reads it, it tells you exactly what's left, what you have to do, how you have to encounter them. The rest is just on you to do. So this is just showcasing the code, um, doing that and actually actually showing the spawns here as to what is possible and what you can get. If it's over your uh, total rolls, so let's say, I don't know, you, you don't have the shiny charm, for instance, you have less rolls. You don't have enough rolls to potentially get to some of these spawns that are going to show in this file path. Um, if you do have the shiny charm, but say you didn't, uh, I don't know, I guess if you had the shiny charm, you would have a dex 10, but say you didn't have like a perfect dex, uh, you don't get the bonus roll from that. You may be just shy of finding that shiny Pokemon. So again, I don't endorse this only because, um, it to me feels a little bit dishonest because it tells you just exactly what you have to do. There's not really effort involved in terms of, uh, encountering the Pokemon or searching for the Pokemon. You're basically just kicking it into a software program and it's telling you what to do. If that's appealing to you and you want to get to the shinies faster, then by all means, use this method. Try it out. Play with it. Uh, see what you can do with it. This, again, is mostly going to work on Pokemon that are uh, aggressive. Timid Pokemon are going to be harder to do with this. If they run away from you, it's going to be much harder for you to do this method unless there is a Pokemon inside of the... Uh, the outbreak like an evolved form that you can actually battle to take the spawn a little bit further but that's it those are the two methods that we currently have outside of just soft resetting for starters to catch alpha Pokemon. so without further ado let's get back to the actual gameplay shall we